Today, we're gonna talk about the Burkina Snare Army, Burma, all the KNAB. So who are they? Where are they? And what are their objectives? To begin, we need to look back at how the KNAB was formed. The Kukina Snare Organization, or Kukina Snare Army, KNO KNA, was founded on February 24, 1988 with the sole aim of realizing the Kuki people's lost rights, that is, the security of their lives, dignity as an ethnic nationality, socio-economics, politics, security, etc. by getting the land where the forefathers had lived independently and that with dignity, they called it as self-administered state. But under pressure from the Kuki people after the 2010 military led general election in Burma, KNO KNAB, the Kuki Students Democratic Front, KSDF, the Kuki People's Congress, KPC, and the Kuki Women's Human Rights Organization, KWHRO, along with leaders of the community-based organizations abroad and inside Burma held a number of consultative meetings which finally decided that the wing of KNO KNA which operates in Burma should henceforth be separated from KNO KNA or KNO KNA India and be named KNO KNAB, which should be authorized to frame policies for all political matters of the Guki people of Burma. This decision was intimated to the president of KNO KNA India, and accordingly, a formal meeting for the merger or bifurcation process was held during July 27 to 28, 2013, which concluded with the agreement signed by leaders from both the bifurcated organizations. Training here under heavy rain are the soldiers of the Kuki National Army, Burma. This place is said to be somewhere along the Indo-Myanmar border. Here, you can see soldiers training extremely hard for combats. This is how they train and this is what makes them fearless in battles. The Keno KNAB operates actively in the Kuki people's ancestral land which includes the present-day Burma's townships, subdivision or districts that spread along the border with India such as Tonzang Township, Tamu Township and Homalin Township. It aims to ensure every Kuki man or woman enjoys the fundamental and inalienable rights articulated by the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. Ah.